guys, John Pateka here, Executive Director of the EDM Council, and welcome to EDM Talks, a brand new feature of the EDM Council where we invite leading industry practitioners, subject matter experts, and thought leaders to share their views and insights on a variety of data management topics and evolving trends. Today, I'm excited to have with us from their company headquarters in Clear Lake, Iowa, Matt Good, Senior Vice President for Product Development, and Tony Brownlee, Executive Vice President for Business Development from Kingland Systems. Kingland Systems is a data science, research, and software solutions company that's been around for over 25 years, providing their clients with innovative software, data, and operational support projects, both here in the U.S. and abroad. The title of today's EDM Talks is From Basic to Advanced AI and Natural Language Processing, Teaching Software to Read in the EDM World. To kick things off, we've given Matt and Tony a few questions to get the conversation going, which I know they'll address, as well as provide us with their own views and insights into this very interesting topic. So without any further delay, let me send you out to Clear Lake, Iowa, to Matt and Tony. Gentlemen. Thanks, John, and the EDM Council for these questions. You know, the first one here is, just clarifying really the differences between artificial intelligence, which we hear is AI, machine learning, which is ML, natural language processing, NLP, how those are used in the industry, some of the history behind it, the open source behind it. We get asked this a lot from our clients at Kingland uh, about the differences between machine learning, AI, how NLP fits in there, and how really cognitive wraps it all around. And, we almost see all of this as kind of increasing spheres of scope. So we, ha we see it kind of just growing out where machine learning is that smallest sphere of scope and it's really very deeply rooted in decades worth of academia and research uh, deep within the statistics and math fields. And quite simply, this is really where you can think of the very specific models and algorithms that are used to help define and continuously improve upon um, use cases that need that data from the past to be able to get a little bit better in the future. So everything that you hear about from all flavors of neural networks, decision trees, support vector machines, long short-term memory, naive Bayes classifiers, k-nearest neighbors, all of those types of technological models and algorithms buzzwords are typically in that sphere of machine learning. So as we grow out of that, machine learning is at the bottom and then you kind of introduce your higher sphere of scope within AI. Now, the market as a whole and at wide is really adopting AI as kind of the go-to term just relatively within the industry and within all of marketing. We see it everywhere really describing Siri and the iPhone. We see it describing the Alexa and the Google Home Assistants. We see it describing the learning from IoT signals, image processing, video processing, literally everything. It's almost too much, but what we focus on at Kingland really is the sphere within AI that is related to language processing. So natural language processing within kind of the overall text analytics sphere within AI is what we focus on at Kingland and we're going to talk about some use cases there a little bit later. Now even above AI is this terminology, terminology around cognitive and we see that as kind of the superset of everything. Typically, our point of view at Kingland is defining cognitive, where it's really the humans working with the systems together to make the best decisions, correcting decisions that the systems have made so that we can continuously improve and get better overall. And we see that this term really came, to, came into play from an IBM historical fashion as they were starting to um, bring Watson into the limelight from the Jeopardy victory from seven to eight years ago. Kingland has been in the space around that time as well. And we're, we're going to see this change. We're going to see it change really no differently than we've seen cloud change over the past 25 years. It used to be application service providers, and then it really just evolved into cloud. So machine learning, AI, cognitive on top of that, and then where Kingland really fits in is really everything related to processing of documents, text, extraction, extraction of data and insights related to NLP and text analytics. So the next question from the EDM Council is, how much faster can a machine perform uh, in this task of reading and extracting data out of documents than the average human? Um, if you look at a big document, a big document like a legal agreement, an annual report, a newspaper, those documents tend to contain 50,000 to 100,000 words. Now, a, an average person can read at about 200 words per minute, which is pretty good. However, for a document that large, that's four to eight hours, and here's the kicker, that person can only retain about 60% of what they read. 
That's really, really hard. And when each page contains many, many references to people, to products, to locations, to, to numbers, to facts, to figures, it becomes really next to impossible to, to retain data at such large volume. This is where the machine comes in. The machine can extract that information, can read all 50 to 100,000 pages literally in seconds using artificial intelligence, natural language processing, and really the scale of cloud and, and advanced processing, and can do it at a very high degree of accuracy, 80, 90, 99% accuracy in some cases. This next question is really around use cases. What are the use cases that we see around artificial intelligence and natural language processing? If you look at the core problem, the real problem is having experts waste their time on mundane tasks and really this volume of information that's out there. And the two use cases we see are around large documents with lots and lots of information in them and news and other announcements that end up being smaller documents but they're produced in thousands and thousands every single day. A large document with hundreds of thousands of pages and very specific information takes that expert a long time to read Whereas news, the challenge is, how do I keep up with it? How do I read it every day? How do I know what's important? And that's the challenge every day, is every morning when an expert comes into the, into the operation, what is it that they are going to use their valuable time on? Is it reading something that they think is important, or is it something that a machine has already read for them that they can then take action on immediately? So let's see how all of this is pieced together, how it all works using the machine learning, natural language processing, artificial intelligence techniques to break down a document, really process a document that Tony brought up earlier, something that everyone knows about, a company's annual report. Because really the end goal out of this and the problem statement is that large enterprises, they need to manage the data about companies. Let's just take a fictitious company, XYZ company, they need to manage the data about that company, whether it's financials, it's different data attributes, it's industry that it's in, the different people related to that company, the directors and officers. They need to manage it in a structured form within their data management program. So the goal of our Kingland platform really is to break that document down, process it through our capabilities of machine learning, natural language processing, and AI, and then arrive at that structured data. So first things first, we bring the document in, we'd store it, into our data lake. It's cloud optimized with an Amazon Web Services as an example. We'd index it. It could be accessed later. The next middle series of processing steps is really breaking it down further. The first things first is we have to determine the format. Is it HTML? Is it PDF? Is it a scanned document image? That really determines the next series of steps that has to be processing on the document just to get the text out. HTML is usually a little bit easier. PDF and images are harder because we have to extract the text in a different way. And particularly with images, we have to run our optical character recognition or OCR processing capabilities within our platform to be able to extract the text. Once we've got all the text in an area that we can further processing it, that's really where the, the further breakdown and particularly the natural language processing and the named entity recognition capability comes into play. And what's important here is that the language models used behind the scenes for NLP and for NER can continuously improve. They can continuously get better. At Kingland, we're able to train language models that are specific to annual reports versus, say, maybe another regulatory filing. So it can get very specific to XYZ company's name, its, its other products that it produces, the people referenced within, the other data attributes or industry classification noted within. The language model can inform our NLP and named entity recognition processes to get better at tagging and annotating important pieces of data within that document. And then really that final series of processing steps, again, bringing it back to the beginning, we want to extract data and insights out of that annual report document for XYZ company. Final series of processing steps is really getting into these specific models and algorithms that extract and provide the logic to get the data out of the document that's been previously tagged and annotated from the NLP processes. So we see it working all the way through. It's a wonderful pipeline that from the ultimate aspect of it, we're able to extract data and insights out of that annual report. Well, the future for this whole text analytics space is really, really bright. We're seeing the technology move along very quickly. I think the use cases are starting to harden, particularly around risk, operations, compliance, regulatory reporting, and even, even the front office. And I want to thank the EDM Council for their great work in the industry and this thought leadership around text analytics. John, back to you, and we'll see you soon.
Thanks, Tony, and thank you, Matt, so much for this really interesting perspective on NLP AI and machine learning. You know, with the seemingly never-ending increase in the amount of written information that we need to process, understanding how natural language processing can impact our business is becoming more and more important. Once again, thank you, Tony and Matt and Kingland Systems, for providing us with this insight. If you'd like more information on this topic, please reach out to the email link below on your screen. And with that, we wrap up our first edition of EDM Talks. I hope you found this interesting and informative, and we hope to see you back for our next installment of EDM Talks coming soon. Myself and the entire crew at the EDM Council, thank you for watching.